Hello, welcome. Today is Tuesday of the fifth week of Lent. We're in Passion Tide, which is the last two weeks of Lent, and we start to look toward the end. It's no longer being, we're not being taught anymore about how we are to live as Christ's disciples, but now we begin to focus on the last part of Jesus' life and its meaning for us. But the first reading today is from the book of Numbers, and it tells that story about the day that the Israelites grumbled against God again. And you know, growing up, I always wondered, how could they do that? I mean, didn't they have these wonderful experiences of the Lord's magic, his wonder, his miracles? You know, it was, it was something that changed their life. There were the plagues and the escape and the parting of the Reed Sea. There were all those things that they saw. They were being fed with manna. Moses brought water out of the rock again and again, and they grumbled. And I wondered, how could they do that? As I've gotten older, it's caused me to reflect on myself and the number of times that I've grumbled against God. Now, I didn't like the way God was doing things. I thought I had a better idea of the way God should handle this world and the issues that are a part of it and, and the issues that are part of my life. And I think, how could you do that, Dave? I mean, how many times have you seen God's wonderful works in your life? How many times has God lifted you up when you've fallen? How many times has God's mercy raised me up when I've beaten myself down? How could I grumble? It gave me something to think about. Don't know exactly when, but I've learned to temper my prayer and to stop giving God advice as much as I used to and looking for the grace to accept whatever it is that's going to happen so that I can live more faithfully. I think that's part of the invitation of this closing two weeks of Lent as we move further into the Lord's great Passover through death to life. We're invited to look at our lives and to say, how could we be more like the Lord Jesus who is led by the Father through the suffering and death to his resurrection? I hope you have a great journey to Easter. God bless you.